This is the Transformers, the Hunt for the Decepticons, the Fallen. Uh, this is the repaint and retool or redeco of the original Revenge of the Fallen, the Fallen figure. It's same Voyager class figure, nothing's changed. The transformation is exactly the same despite some of the changes. Um, and, and really, the big difference here is, is some minor retooling and the garish, uh, per the garish colors of teal. Um, electrostatic blue or all spark blue and the Decepticon purple and that's it um, it's a bit same actual figure uh, the only reason you would probably want to get this figure is if you like the retool and really the colors if you ask me are more of an acquired taste they're not really something you'd really like immediately off the bat when you see it in packaging it's like oh my goodness what they do with the fallen uh, but uh, hey you know I'm a sucker for repaint so uh, this thing that this thing sat well with me actually um, uh, initially I thought you know what the hell and then uh, the more I look at it the more it grow, it grow uh, it grew on me so so there anyway let's start with the feature features obviously he's got this new spear um, which actually you know tend to think of it they could have called this one a prime instead of the fallen so that you could get a lot of them and then you could you can make like seven you can get like six or seven more of these guys and then you could probably form uh, recreate that scene that flashback scene with the fallen but anyway you know it's not practical but I think if you ask him they could have named him the prime or a prime or whatever but uh, anyway the fallen's okay uh, this, the spear is made of this soft rubbery plastic, mainly due for safety reasons, and uh, you know, at certain angles, if you have him hold it, it the, the thing is going to bend, and it just, anyway, you can fold it like so, like this, uh, sort of like a, yeah, like that, and then it will store on his back. Uh, it stores the same way in, in vehicle mode, just like that. In vehicle mode, it's going to look like that as well. And it will sort of make him make him look even more like a cockroach than he already is. Uh, but hey, <laughs> uh, so that's that. Okay, um... He can grip it. He, he actually holds it because of a groove uh, in his palm and not so much because of these opposable fingers. This is the new uh, upgrade of the fists. Um, the, fists don't j the fists don't just go move in and out and it's no longer just a single molded fist that's splayed out like that. Uh, they've actually molded it into a cup, a cup like um, pose and the fingers are actually posed this way and they oppose uh, on, on on two hinges. The, the, the the wrist hinge and the uh, the upper palm hinge. Uh, you can actually make him hold the spear with the opposable fingers, but uh, they're, they're pretty loose, so they actually need a hinge like that. So, anyway, that's that. Uh, and, re and really, the basic cha the the major change they've done on this figure is really the head, uh, which I really like. And uh, as you can see, there's no longer the uh, the pop-out flames, which I really thought was corny. Uh, it's now on a uh, hinge and ball joint. Uh, so apart from the other articulation, they've kept all the articulation on this figure. They've added the ball joint on the head, which really makes him, really puts all the drama in this figure. A very emotive head right now. Uh, so that's that. And then the main feature is really the removable faceplate, the mask, which, you know, when Prime, Optimus Prime says, show me your face, and then uh, he rips out the, the Fallen's mask, whatever, and reveals the, the Fallen's true face, which is uh, a little bit weird and over the top for some people, uh, but I like it, I really like it. Uh, it's kind of goofy at times because of the color, really, but... Uh, I like it. It's it's a good sculpt. It's well detailed. It's painted okay, uh, and, and really you can recreate that scene where Prime kills the Fallen. Optimus Prime kills the Fallen, and uh, and I'm sure a lot of people are gonna kit bash this this mold and repaint it into black, uh, and, and that I'm not really into that. Uh, and you know this this figure is okay. It sits well with me. Um, 
if you're not a big fan of the re of repaints, you might want to wait for this one on clearance or until the price drops a little bit. But uh, uh, to me, I like it. Uh, no issues, no, not too many issues with this figure. Uh, especially if you missed out on the old figure, this is not a bad figure to get. Uh, if you wanted just a uh, mode of the Fallen and you're having trouble uh, tracking down the old original one. You could get also the Target exclusive, uh, but since it's an exclusive, it's a little bit more pricey than the regular Voyager class figure. So there you go. Um, I'm not going to show the vehicle mode or size com or comparisons with uh, the old Fallen because I'm sure everybody knows that already. Um, but really just my um, my thoughts on this new uh, redecoed Fallen. So there you have it. Um, if, if, you, if you're wondering where I got this one, uh, you can you can look for it on retail, but this one in Manila, uh, I got him at Art Toys uh, for a decent price. So if, if you're looking for Transformers or Gundams or Iron Man or or Star Wars figures, uh, they're hard to find on retail. You might want to check out Art Toys if you're in Manila. So there you go. The uh, Transformers Hunt for the Decepticons, the Redecoed, the Fallen. Thanks for watching.